Hello everyone, I'm out today on this, well I'd say glorious day but it's a bit hot for my liking and I'm out on the Russia Ranger with my bottle of squash <laughs> and doing a bit of a range test really, maybe not the full range but taking it uh, a long distance, longer than I have before um, and let you guys know how it fares along the way. Um, done, I don't know, about half a mile just to get here to this park and this is our starting point. I think about 16 miles um, to Ashdown Forest, gonna have a ride around there, and then about 16 miles back, obviously. So, let's see how she does. camera angle here hopefully you can hear me <laughs> I've come uh, three and a half miles so far and we're on a nice straight here with a bit of an incline at the end so I'll probably put the assisted gear up for that but uh, yeah it's a lovely ride it's nice to have the the breeze as you're going along you need it and uh, after Last week's canoe trip on the other channel, I've got on quite a lot of uh, sun cream. <laughs> right, so we're just coming up to the hill here. And it's pretty steep. Right, I am going to go up, pedal assist, here. And this bike just eats through hills. done about a, a mile constant uphill uh, did about uh, 12 miles an hour I think the whole time so she's doing well really does eat through hills ah quite a few miles to go yet though <laughs> Stopped by this uh, forest way sign because I've been taking it for a while, but coming off of it now, I notice my back is absolutely covered from uh, I've, it's very dry out, but there was like a broken pipe at the top of that hill I went up, so it was all the way down. So, yeah, just going to carry on on the roads from here, get to Ashdown. It's a hot day. <laughs> right, today I've brought with me 
an MRE. Nice and easy for a cycling trip. It's menu 20, which is Italian sausage with pepper and onions in a marinara sauce with some accompaniments as well. Just using a little gas stove. Always surprised with how much you get in these. Got trowel mix and dry roasted peanuts. Main meal there. Got some cranberries and some crackers and cheese spread. The only one slight niggle I've noticed on this trip is uh, less so on this side, but these here, but more so on this side, is the amount of room you've got. And I don't know, obviously, it's minor, you can move these bits down, but it's just saying you know it's on a longer trip. All replenished with that MRE <laughs> spicy sausage, it was quite spicy, it was nice though. Um, just looking at the bike here. Uh, 67 kilometers and that's with a couple of wrong turns so just going to make our way back up to the road and hopefully this bike has got enough to get back the other one's 50 percent and if i don't make any wrong turns on the way back we should be fine Well, I stopped for a quick pint in a lovely pub in Penhurst and got six miles to go. I'm on 22%, so I think I'm doing okay. It's one bar on the Fido, the support bike. <laughs> so we'll see how that does. But um, yeah, we'll just get back to the start point and uh, see where we're at. And right back where I started. Whew. So, got the uh, Ranger there and the Fido F1 there. Let's look how they did. We are showing 10% on the Ranger. Not bad. Definitely enough to get me home. And we're showing the flashing battery symbol on the uh, Fido for those interested. So, you know, who knows what that means. I've had it go for quite a while with that before, so we should make it home. 
I set off at about 10 a.m. It's uh, getting on for 5 p.m. now, so it's been a long day pedaling. And uh, yeah, both bikes, to be honest, have done quite well, although this is more about the Ranger. I will do the uh, Fido in its own kind of range testing video. So I've got about a half a mile till home, not too much. So I'll definitely get there. But um, I'll probably put on the screen kind of roughly the route or the, um, the actual uh, mileage I did try and include the uh, wrong ways that I went <laughs> but I uh, hope you found that somewhat interesting thanks for watching I'll see you next time goodbye